Forget about Lovable and the other no-code tools because there's something much better out there and it's called Claude Code. It's the best no-code AI tool in the world and in this video, I'll walk you through every single step from actually setting it up to dialing in the correct settings and finally creating your first mini AI project. And I promise all of this is super easy without writing a single line of code. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Rob and I've been a coder for over 20 years. But now I teach people how to build their ideas with AI in ways that even non-technical people can understand. I do this here on YouTube and inside of my AI coding blueprint that helps you learn these tools and build your own apps in just 30 days. You can learn more about it in the description down below. All right, so what even is Cloud Code and why should you care? Well, I've built almost all of my tools, including MacroPulse, which is a global economy tracker, and Social Hacks also, which is a tool that allows you to convert any video online into the text that was spoken inside this video. These are all real apps that you can go and try right now. I've built them in like a day or two, and it really wasn't as difficult as you might think. And Cloud Code can do these things because it was made by a company called Anthropic, which is the same company that created the two most powerful AI coding models today, specifically Claude Sonnet 4 and Claude Opus 4. These, by the way, are the exact same models that Lovable, Bold, Cursor, and all the other AI coding tools also use. But here is what makes Claude Code special. Because Claude Code is kind of like the iPhone of AI coders. You know how Apple makes both the hardware and the software? That's why many people say that the iPhone just works better than anything else. And it's kind of the same with Claude Code, because Anthropic built everything. So there's no middleman, no integration issues, no weird limitations. Anthropic knows exactly how their models work and how to get the most out of them. On the other hand, you have services like Lovable and Bold trying to make these models as good as possible with their tools. But this will never be as good as something that Anthropic built internally for their own models. You know how typing long prompts into Cursor or ChatGPT takes forever? I've been testing this new tool called Willow Voice and it helps me code way faster because instead of just typing to the AI, I just hold the function key and say the prompt out loud. Find bugs that could lead to critical errors and propose simple solutions to fix them. Then I let go and Willow just types it out for me almost instantly without all the errors and awkward phrasing because Willow actually cleans it up on the fly. And it works everywhere, even in your emails, documents, Slack and Notion. And it understands the context to get the tone and words correctly too. You can think of Willow like the Apple's built-in dictation if it was actually smart, accurate and fast. It's kind of like an AI for your voice. Plus, it is 50% more accurate than many other tools, writes almost instantly, learns from your personal style, and best of all, it's totally free to try. So if you are a developer doing a lot of prompting or you write a lot for work, download Willow Voice now. I've put a link in the description down below. It's a fantastic productivity tool that helps you get done more in less time. But let's talk about money, because I know this is always the big question. So Claude has actually three different plans that include usage for Claude code. There's the pro plan for $20 a month. It shows as $17 a month here, but if I choose to downgrade, you will quickly see that it's only $17 a month when you pay for a year in advance at $200 a year. But if you pay monthly, it is actually $20 a month. Then there are the Claude Max plans, which come in the 5X variant for $100 a month and the 20X variant for $200 a month. For this video, we will skip over the $20 Pro plan because it just doesn't give you enough power to actually build anything useful. And I know that spending another $100 or even $200 a month for yet another subscription sounds crazy, but hear me out. Because the competition might charge you less on paper, Lovable, for example, starts at just $25 a month and Cursor starts at $20 a month. But these tools have very tight limits and so you will be restricted within just a few days or even hours sometimes. Lovable, to be fair, does give you five daily credits every day up to 150 a month if you are on the $25 a month plan. But even then, it's the equivalent of sending about eight messages if you use Lovable every single day, which is really not enough. And so if you want to build your big ideas, you need something very powerful and flexible. And that is exactly what Claude Code gives you. Because these Claude Max plans give you virtually unlimited AI coding every month for a flat fee. 
I do say virtually unlimited because 99% of people, including myself, will never actually reach the limits on these plans. But I have to mention, out of transparency's sake, that Anthropic did announce weekly limits, which will be introduced in August, which did bring down the overall value for some people. But if you don't run Claude code 8 to 10 hours every single day, you will never reach these limits. But why are there two plans then, and which one is the best for you? So Anthropic, as I said, has two AI coding models. They are both the best options out there, and which plan you should choose depends on the model that you would prefer to use. On the $100 5x Max plan, you get nearly unlimited access to Claude Sonnet 4. This is an extraordinary powerful model and it's the go-to for the entire industry. Even Meta, you know, the makers of Facebook, which are huge on AI themselves, recently switched their developers to this model. Claude Sonnet is literally so good that even their competitors are using it. So why would anyone pay $200 for the other Max 20X plan? Well, there's also Claude Opus 4, which is a little bit better at some tasks, but it is also five times more expensive to run than Sonnet 4. And Sonnet 4, fun fact, actually outperforms Opus 4 in some tasks. So is the $200 Max plan then really worth it? Well, I would say it is for people that want the absolute best without making any compromise whatsoever. And in my personal opinion, most people would be far better off getting the $100 5x max plan. But I, for example, I splurge for the $200 a month. But that's enough talking, now let's actually get this thing installed. And I am doing this here on my Mac, but Anthropic actually recently announced support for Windows, which I don't have a Windows computer, I cannot help you with this, but it is documented right here. I'll leave the link in the description. Plus, I'm sure there will be some helpful people in the comments down below. So before we get started, first things first, because there's one requirement that we need to install, and that is called Node.js. It is sort of an interpreter for a language called JavaScript, which you can think about as a Google Translate that tells your computer what to actually do with this language that your computer doesn't usually understand. And for this, you have two options here. If you already have something like Windsurf or Cursor installed, chances are you already have Node.js too. But it is very easy to just ask it if it is installed and if not, install it for you. You can ask it, for example, check if you already have Node.js installed and if not, install it for me. So now you will see the AI coder will actually check my system, see if Node.js is already installed, in which case it will not do anything. But if you ask it to do something like this and it finds that Node.js is not installed, then it will install it on your behalf completely automatically. And if you don't have any of these tools installed yet, just go to nodejs.org and then click on the Get Node.js button right here. You can follow these commands, but I wouldn't recommend it if you're not a coder or if you're like super comfortable with terminal commands. And instead, you can just get the pre-built Node.js for the operating system that you're on. So for example, Windows or macOS, then download the installer and install it like any other app that you have ever installed. Either way, this will only take a couple of minutes and then you will have Node.js installed and we're ready for the next step. So next up, we need to open a scary terminal. And I know, whoa, terminals, wow, those might be so scary, especially if you're not a technical person. But don't worry, just follow my lead. The way that I usually do it is that I use Spotlight, which if you look closely on your Mac, you will have this little search up here. You can click on it or you can press Command Space. I have an alternative installed for Spotlight, but it will look very similar. And either way, you can just enter Terminal and then you will be presented with the Terminal application. You just click on it and this window will open right here. And once you see this terminal window, all that's left to do is actually install in Cloud Code, for which we go back to the website, and then you have the command right here, which we can copy by clicking here, going back to our terminal, pasting it in, and then we see npm, which is the Node Package Manager, sort of like an install tool for Node.js projects, install, Minus G means it will be available globally on your entire computer, and the package name for Cloud Code. And then we just press Enter, and we'll watch it install, which might take a few seconds. Actually, it was already done. And that's it. There's literally no complicated setup, no configuration files, nothing. You are done. Now for the fun part. We need to create a folder for our first AI project anywhere you want. For this demo, I'm just gonna go to my desktop and I'm gonna create a new folder called test 
project right here. So now we need to somehow navigate into this folder and there's multiple ways to do it. You can just say CD, which is change directory space and then drag and drop this folder into your terminal and you see it actually filled in the entire path. So then, then we're here. Another way, let me just go back a little bit. Another way to do it is to right click the folder, select get info, right click on where and then copy as path name. And then you can also say CD, copy it in here, and then say test project. So either way, you're going to be in the correct directory. So now here is the magic command that we installed. We just have to type in Claude and we press enter. And bada bam, bada bim, there we go. This is the first thing that you see when you enter Claude code for the very first time. So this is the first thing that you see in Claude code. First, you need to actually select the color scheme. Just go for dark mode, you can always change it. But then it gets juicy because you need at least a Claude Pro account to continue. You can also use the Anthropic console, but that's not what we're gonna discuss in this video. So you need a Claude Pro Max 5X or Max, Max 20X account to continue. But if you already have subscribed, then from here you can just press enter and will open a new browser window leading you to Claude, where now you can connect your account to the Claude code that you have installed on your computer. So you just click authorize and then you can go back and it will say, cool, you were logged in successfully and you can press enter. On the next screen, it will just tell you some security notes. So Claude, because it is an AI, it can make mistakes. And due to prompt injection risks, you should read this. If you don't know what a prompt injection is, it's definitely something that you should read up on because it has nothing to do with Claude code and it's more of a general AI risk that you should probably learn about. But that's not what this video is about. So we press enter and then it asks us, do you want to use Claude code's terminal setup? Yes, let's go. Now, and this will always happen when you, so everything you've just done will never happen again, right? But this thing here, do you trust the files in this folder? Every time you start Claude code in a new folder that it has never seen before, it will ask you this message because of these prompt injections, uh, which can be used to attack your computer, basically. I don't want to scare you. It's not really like, you know, like a thing yet, but it, it will be in the future. But of course, we just created this folder. So yeah, we can say, yes, we trust it. And boom, we got Claude code running. Amazing. So the chat that you see here is basically the same chat, except it's way more powerful that you would see on Bolt and Lovable and all these other tools. From here, we are almost ready to build, but there's one more important setting that you need to set to get the absolute most out of your subscription. Because remember earlier when I said that you can get access to different models on different plans? Well, I lied, because actually you get both models on both plans, but the limits are very different. And if you try to use the much more expensive Opus 4 model on the $100 plan, you will actually hit your limits very fast. But if you're on the $200 plan, even if you set your model specifically to Opus 4, you will likely never run out. Despite this, Claude tries to switch intelligently to I don't know why, probably save themselves some cost, but we can turn this off and here's how. Inside of Claude code, just type slash model. And by default, you will be on the default, which they say is recommended, which depending on what plan you're on, will either use Opus 4 for 20%, I think, or 50% of your limits, and then automatically switch to Sonnet 4. But if you are on the $100 plan, I recommend that you just fix it to Sonnet and if you're on the $200 plan, I recommend that you switch it to Opus 4 instead. So I am on the Opus plan or $200 plan, so I'm going to set it to Opus and we're going to continue. But if you are curious about the two differences and how these two models behave, then you can also keep it on default for a while because you can always switch whenever you feel like it. If you've made it this far, congrats, because we're finally able to build something. I've got something super simple in mind, so I'll just dictate a prompt really quickly. And this is exactly the type of stuff that I teach in my AI coding blueprint, which teaches my students how to get their ideas out of their heads and into the world. So if you're interested in also doing this, then the link is in the description down below. I'm going to just talk to Claude Code, which I do with today's sponsor, Willow Voice. And I'm going to say something like, so create a very simple website that is for a habit tracking app. Create some mockups for the images. Keep things super simple, but think a beautiful design that 
comes from a designer agency that makes beautiful websites that maybe cost like ten, fifteen thousand dollars as a demo for what Cloud Code can do. So super, super simple. And as you see, it's right here. So now I'm just gonna send this and Cloud Code will create the actual project. It might ask you some questions in the process, but we'll see in just a second. It will most likely create a to-do list, which is which you just see right now, which it, uh, it helps it stay on track and actually get the entire task done, if you will. It is also thinking what it is doing, as you can see here. Sometimes you can see that Claude is thinking and it says things like, let me create the product structure, the project structure, and the website will showcase a habit tracking app with sections like a hero section, feature section, how it works, testimonials, call to action. It's pretty wild. And then sometimes Claude might ask you if it's okay to create a file. What I recommend here is that you just say yes and don't ask me again for this session so that it won't ask you again and again for every file that it wants to create or edit. So you see it's working through the to-dos, going piece by piece, and in just a couple of minutes, it will have created a full website. So you can see that it is almost done. It has updated all its to-dos to be done. And it will think a little bit more, but before I could finish the sentence, it says, I've created a beautiful habit tracking website with a premium minimalist design. The site features, yada, yada, yada. Open the index HTML in your browser to see the 10 to $15,000 agency quality, agency quality design in action. Well, no pressure, huh? Wow, okay. <laughs> I, will, I wouldn't pay 10, 15K for it, but it is not a bad website. And it took like, what, like five minutes? That's wild. I mean, from here, obviously, you can, you know, select like animations. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, there's lots of animations, actually. Beautiful. There's a small problem up here, but it's not bad. It is not bad. So just like that, you have a working website that just lets you launch your apps once you build it, which is pretty wild. Of course, you can do a lot of changes and follow-up requests inside of Cloud Code, and it will just do them in this website. Pretty wild, right? And I know that a terminal like this seems scary, especially compared to something like Lovable's more user-friendly interface. But here's what I've learned from my mostly non-technical Blueprint students. They want the best not the easiest or cheapest. And if you are anything like them, then learning a terminal app and some basic terminal commands is exactly what you need to build your really big ideas. Because a tool like Cloud Code can build things that Lovable could never even dream of. And you can stop worrying about these monthly limits or message credits too, because you have virtually unlimited coding. If you want to dive deeper into all of this, check out my AI coding blueprint in the description down below. I teach my students everything that they need to build their own apps with easy to follow videos and even a live community where they can get support directly from me. I'd love to see you on the inside and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.